good lord. It's impossible. I just saw him die. Bruno! Bruno! You're still as beautiful as ever. I remember the day that you sat for this portrait, listening to the music I had composed for you. The music that will keep the memory of you alive forever. What are you doing here? My dear Elizabeth. You always did have the knack for showing up unexpectedly. Why have you come back? I belong here. You're the only one that thinks so. Wrong. She thought so. Quentin is returning soon. He'll never let you stay here. I understand he's coming back married. That's right. Won't he be in for a surprise? What do you mean? Do you think that she'll let another woman come into this house? She won't. You know that as well as I do. Why does everyone speak of her as if she was still alive? It's frightening. Nothing was ever frightening about her. You all envied her because she was the most intelligent and most beautiful creature that ever graced this earth. I think you'd better leave now. Fortunately for you, I'm in no mood to argue. I'll be seeing you around, my dear Elizabeth. Barnabas wasn't imagining things. People like ourselves are living a completely different existence. Here in this room, I must find Barnabas and tell him. Was that Bruno, the terrible-tempered boy wonder I saw just now? Yes. He's come back. Back to compose more of his morbid music and bore us with his tiresome memories of her. <laughs> well, it'll be worth seeing the look on Quentin's face when he finds out, won't it? <laughs> <laughs>